All righty, welcome back to another Marvel Champions live stream. We are taking on the Mad Titan Shadow, which is the newest campaign out of Marvel Champions. And just like Josh in the chat, I have really been looking forward to this. So I've played through this campaign uh, before solo, but not multiplayer. And so I'm really excited to play it through multiplayer. I think that... Uh, Squidward's going down. Oh my gosh, he does look like Squidward, doesn't he? Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, Correct call. <laughs> um, I, I, this campaign is awesome. I mean, it, it is high quality content. I absolutely love the scenarios in this campaign. I'm excited to take them on. We're doing kind of a thematic deck as well. We've got Nebula and Gamora teaming up to take on the Mad Titan himself. So. Jason, how are you guys? Yeah. I'm fantastic. I am fantastic. We had an excellent stream last night. We had a good time. We rock and rolled. We had some hangout time after the after the uh, gameplay, which was cool. Nice. Did some stuff. Actually, really, we just we just talked about the box and how badly I got crushed for a while. So that was <laughs> that was hype. Yeah, I enjoyed that. So it, it's good, man. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I am doing pretty good. I, uh, you know, I'm just a, a lot of content um a lot a lot of streaming and i love it i absolutely love it so you know i'm switching gears between lord of the rings i had to buckle down and we played lord of the rings on monday and so you know i need to shift gears back into marvel champions and take it on so are you are you diving right into the second cycle is that what you're going to do next for lord i of am Rings? yep so kaza yeah. doom so for all one. all of my plethora of patreon supporters uh i open or my i did my unboxing video of has doom which is up on patreon now so awesome yeah i mean i know you have a lot of patreon supporters so i'm sure they're, <laughs> I'm sure they're hyped about it <laughs> pretty much <laughs> all righty so let's talk about our decks what are we playing uh you want to go first tell me about Gamora. <laughs> yes so fun fact when uh you know you and i were talking about this and you're like hey you're gonna play as Gamora in my head I was picturing Nebula. So That's I hilarious. assumed you as Gamora would do aggression or justice. And then I was like, oh, shoot. It's the other way around. I forgot how this <laughs> game works and how characters work. That's um, hilarious. <laughs> but, you know, we were kind of talking about whatnot. And I always felt like I always played Gamora the same, right? I was either aggression with six justice cards or justice with six aggression cards. So mm -hmm. when I was when we were talking, out, I was like, well, how about leadership, right? It's something different. I want to play leadership more. And not only did I go with leadership, but there is two from uh, justice, two from aggression, and two events from um, protection. So it's the first time I've incorporated all every single. Um, That's super exciting thing. Yeah. So I'm actually I'm 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 pumped for that. I'm pumped for a leadership build that is really just a guardians build. Like I have Black Panther and nice. Maria for leadership, but that's it, right? The rest is Drax, Groot, Martin X, Rocket, and Star Lord. And then you know, nice. okay, I have yeah. a Nebula. That's super useful. So. I hate that. So we were talking right before we went live. I read a uh, a house rule that I saw, I think on Reddit, actually, that was uh, you can sub out a signature ally for a team up card if that hero is sitting at the table, because right now it's a dead card. Like we cannot play. Um, I can't play Nebula or I can't play Gamora and you can't play Nebula. And so it, it's just kind of a dead card. I mean, it's a wild resource, whatever, but it's just kind of weird. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, I, I, I'm excited to see it. I, I, I think that leadership Gamora will be really interesting. So. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, what about you? What are you running? So I'm running Nebula, which um, a Nebula Justice deck. And so Nebula has all these technique cards that kind of trigger at the beginning of her turn. And uh, when she's an alter ego, whenever you play a technique, you get to draw two cards. So she wants to be an alter ego almost every single other turn. And so we'll put the deck list for uh, Josh likes the house rule. So yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll do that. Like it. Yeah. It's just, it makes sense. Um, so, so Nebula, this deck is always be, no, it's not always be flipping. I, I don't remember what it's uh, whatever. Um, flip, but and we'll, thwart. flip and thwart. Yeah. So we'll, we'll throw the deck list <laughs> in the, in the video description. So if you're curious about what decks we're running, that that's kind of what we're doing. But the idea is to confuse the villain as often as possible, flip down every other turn 
and um, play those techniques, flip back up, and then just kind of get rocking and rolling. And so that's the idea. Um, yeah, so we, we had a lot of help from the Discord, which was super exciting on building the decks. And so they helped us refine and make them better. And if I die immediately, they made me take out downtime. So I That's blame their fault. Blame, I blame them. 100% so. their fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so Ebony Maw. So we are playing expert as well. So yes. we, uh, we're not, I, I think I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to say we're not the greatest uh marvel champions players that have ever played the game no we're However, top three though that's oh sure. yeah top three yeah me yeah. you are two of the three and, and then caleb Josh grace and- I assume. yeah <laughs> <laughs> um but you know it this this isn't an easy campaign but i think that these decks work pretty well together and i'm excited to try and give us that uh josh accepts full responsibility for what happened so Perfect. that's good i'm glad that that's now <laughs> uh codified so the uh <laughs> so so I, it, it's a pretty tough campaign but running expert i think is going to give us the a little bit more um challenge and so that'll be exciting we're running standard one expert one for anyone who's keeping track at home all righty so campaign instructions let's just run through it i've been shuffling all the cards are in here but i just want to run through it so each player records our identity in the campaign log so we're done. And then secure the landing pad comes into play with four threat on it. And then we stuffled security breach side scheme into the encounter deck. And so that will be, that goes both ways though. So if you win, okay, I, that's fair. That's fair. I think, right? No, if you win, it's our victory. <laughs> <laughs> Josh gets nothing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, so yeah, um, so that's in there, and we're ready to we're ready to go. So the Ebony Mall is all about these spell cards. So they're going to be cards that come into play as um, they're going, and it's kind of like a timer. And so you kind of see what's coming, but they're never really good. So sweet. We'll go right on to 1B. So when revealed, each player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until a spell card environment is discarded this way and puts it into play in their play area. Shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. And so your leadership, so your first player. Yay. Give me the best spell. The best of the spells. Hey, there's security breach. There's under fire. Manipulation. So you got manipulation. So this says enters play with two invocation counters on it. And after the last counter is removed, discard it. Um, discard one card at random from your hand, and then you're confused. So a good one. I like that yeah. one for me. For me, that's good. Yeah. And we'll remove a counter every single time Ebony Mall activates against you. And so mm-hmm. that that's kind of how that works. And then we've got. Hey, manipulation again. That's not the good one for me, but it's fine. It, it'll be fine. Everything's fine. Yeah. I'll be confused. It, it won't be the end of the world, but all righty. Okay. So shuffle the discard pile back into the deck. And so let's just read because I feel like every single time I play this game, I miss one little thing if I don't read every single card on the table. And so because last my first initial playthrough, I kind of forgot about secure the landing pad, and I played the entire campaign without Cosmo. And so I'm excited to try and play with Cosmo. <laughs> Spoiler alert: we may see Cosmo. Um, <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Ebony Maw. So force interrupt when Ebony Maw activates against you. Remove one invocation counter from each spell card in your play area. When revealed. Each player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until they discard a spell card. I can put that card into play in their um, play area. Is okay. This is a this is already a bad question. Do we resolve a win revealed effect right now? Why? Uh, for what? Like what happened? I'm trying to hype your thing on Instagram. That's what I'm doing. So oh, I'm, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the win revealed effect on Ebony Maw stage two. I think so. Oh, that's right. We're doing expert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you supposed to discuss? Yes. Okay, Josh. Yeah. 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 Okay. So you get a 
Discard cards. Okay, so. Okay, so you get a rubble storm. So it has three play counters on it. And it's going to deal two damage to everything you control. Expert Mall starts with two spells. Cool. That's then fun. there's Security Breach. Hey, oh, hey, look at that, Josh. A fireball. That's good. Fireball. Um, <laughs> starting off strong. Yeah. So four counters, and then whenever it um, activates, then deal four damage to my identity. And so we've got some damage coming my way. The attack on Nowhere starts with two. And I think we are we're ready to ready to go, right? Yeah, we're ready. Villain HP is also 36, by the way. Since we oh this. yeah. Yeah, just so everyone knows, we were fully intending to play standard and then Nelson <laughs> one second before the stream goes on. We're going expert. We're going, we're doing it, man. <laughs> and I said, yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Um okay, well. This is so I've got an endurance. I've got a crew quarters. That's always a good start. I've got daughters of Thanos, which is a great start. You're running daughters of Thanos as well, right? Nope. You're not? Nope. Not ah. enough room. There's not enough room. <laughs> There's always enough room. I mean, I could have went to 41 cards. It's not that big of a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, what what do you do when your deck when your starting hand is too good? Like my starting hand is too good. This is what I have. This is nuts. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. I have Maria Hill. I love I love that. With Big a double. Fan of that. Big Maria fan Hill. of that. Yeah. So I draw a card. I have Martin X, who would cost three, but I'm a guardian, so cost two. And I have another double. Beautiful. I get to draw that card. To play Keen Instincts or Endurance. I'm stacked right now. I love that. I'm stacked. I don't know what to do first. I have so many things. <laughs> and I can look at the top of the deck and then it's Attack or Thor. I get that in my hand too. Man, I got so much going on. Yeah. So team up cards only work if we're both in if we're both in hero. Okay. And you're not going to be a hero ever. So No worries. That's right, Jason should go first. Yes. Heck yeah. All right, you ready? <laughs> yes, sir. Let's do it. All right. Give me uh, that, Maria. All right, so the very first thing is I get to look at the top card, attack or thwart. Oh, my God. It's the other double. What are the odds? <laughs> uh, oh, I don't have to shuffle, which is nice. So I know I'm getting a double, which is still a weird rule. I feel like it, they should have rotted that, that you have to shuffle. But anyway. No, it just makes Cosmo really good with her. Well, that's true. Makes it makes sense. All right, let's do throwaway genius. Let's play Maria. Ooh, I'm a fan Maria. of that. Hey, an iron heart. Oh, hey, a double. <laughs> Whoa, did not see that coming. Right, but like I don't want it now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then um, we can play Martin X. He normally would cost three but we reduce the cost of him if we are the guardian trait, which we are. So we're going to throw away our energy to, to play him. I already got two in there. Um, this is awesome. Yeah, but the thing is, I didn't want the double yet because I wanted keen instincts in there. And I don't want to get rid of endurance. How stupid is it to throw away a double to play a one resource card? I don't think it's that stupid. I mean, um, like if it's what you got in your hand. Right? Like it'd be stupid to hold three cards and only draw two. Right. And if I end up with two more ones, then okay. But throwing away strength, I'm going to play Keen Instincts because that's more valuable to me. Is that on screen? That is on screen. Um, and then we'll hold on to endurance for the next round. So, um, what is your thwarting looking like? Is there things I should be thwarting? Should I secure a landing pad? Uh, yeah, let's. Uh... You, yeah, if you can take out the landing pad. I sure can. Um, it's four, right? Yeah. So I'm going to thwart with Gamora for two off of the landing pad. So it's down to two. But then we're going to thwart with Miss Maria Hill. So 
So it says when defeated, flip this card over. <gasps> it's Cosmo. Cosmo. The first, first player. player. Yes. Give it to me. <laughs> so much power. And I can't play any more allies. Okay. So <laughs> um, I'll just straight up attack. What's his face? Ebony Maw. So Cosmo's going to do two off of Ebony Maw. And Martin X is going to do a one off of Ebony Maw. Going down to 33, and I am done. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so I am going to... We're going to... Um, I'm going to toss a... You know what? No, we're going to toss an Iron Heart for a white stance. So this is while Nebula is in hero form, reduce the amount of damage she takes from each attack by one. And then the special is look at the top three cards in the encounter deck, discard one and put the others back in any order. But I get to draw two cards. Okay, yeah, there's a strength and a lay down the law. Okay, I will flip up to the hero form. I take a discard. I definitely shouldn't have discarded Ironheart. That was dumb. Oh, well, um, I'm going to get rid of a lay down the law for Daughters of Thanos. So draw three cards. Evasive maneuvering, lethal intent, and combat ready. Um, we are going to toss a combat ready to play a crew quarters. Cosmo doesn't count, I think. You are correct. It does say in the second yeah. line, Cosmo does not count against the ally limit. <laughs> I can read. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to toss a crew quarter to play a evasive maneuvering. I am going to toss a strength to play a lethal intent. So choose up to X technique upgrades your control, resolve each of their special ability in the order of your choice. So I'm going to choose to either stun or confuse an enemy. I think I am going to. Uh, there um i'm going to stun him and then look at the top three cards in the encounter deck discard one and put the others back in any order so under fire advance and pacification and so we are going to um are you going to have anybody block is maria blocking she can yeah that's fine Okay, so we're going to set this up. So under fire is going to be the uh, the boost card. Okay. Um, and then advance is the other boost card? No, because he's stunned. And so uh, I got you. he won't get a second boost card. We could do advance as the boost card, toss under fire, and then we got pacification. Just I don't want to put the spell environment into play. Um, yeah, I don't like any of these cards. Let's, uh, I just, yeah, we'll, we'll have them advance. I think we can do that because the main scheme will be on zero. Oh, at zero. Yeah. Or it'll be, be at good. two. And I've got, I've got a little bit of thwarting power to yeah, deal with. Works. Um, and then I'm going to toss a think fast for an endurance. So three hit points. Perfect. Okay. I will thwart off the main for two. Okay. That's it. So I'll stand up. I will draw. Two, four, five. Sweet. Start of the hero, or not the hero, the villain phase. We'll put two on the main scheme. Ebony Maul is going to attack you for two. Um, but he's stunned. So we'll discard that. And then he is attacking me. So we will. Are you having Maria one. step in for that? Maria, please. Yeah, you're good. Um, so two plus two is dead maria 
Oh, <laughs> Josh says great start. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, it was much. It's a much better start than what we started with on Monday with yeah. Dol the door. So, but don't remember. Oh, don't forget last night, Josh. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Things went very quickly downhill from that. Like very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna do some bad cards. So yours, you want to guess? You want to guess what it is? Hot off guard. It's a fans. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> is this why I'm bad at the game? I don't remember why we shuffled. <laughs> All right, so he's scheming uh, for two plus one is three. So we're up to five on the main. Oh, and then you remove a spell counter from each one of yours. Yep. Sounds good. Um, and then mine, do you want to guess? No. Caught off guard. <laughs> when revealed, remove one invocation counter from each spell environment in your play area. Oof. Um, okay, so That's manipulation rough. triggers. So after the last, discard one card at random from your head, hand, and I'm confused. So we've got five. We'll reroll on a six. Oh my goodness. That's a five. So one, two, three, four, five. No, unyielding persistence. That's a bummer. What? So you're down to one and two, right? On yours? Correct. Yes. Jason just failed a riddle. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> All righty. So I've become first player. Which means, so does Cosmo rotate? No, I get him. Okay. Sounds well, good. I get, um, well, I don't know. It's just the first player gains control of Cosmo. I don't know if that means constantly or I, just at I've, first. I read it as it's uh, constant. I mean, you can have him. I mean, yeah. you can have him. Go uh, away, dog. Sure. <laughs> Jason spells did tick down because he drew an advance. So it, yeah. it only ticked down once, not yeah. twice. It was just for the advance. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You yeah, should have okay. got my dog. My dog. The dog. The dog. Okay. So I'm confused. It's a constant passive effect. Cool. Okay. Okay, so at the start of my turn, I activate these. So I'm going to either choose to stun or confuse an enemy. I'm going to confuse Ebony Maw and then discard this. And then look at the top three cards, discard one, and put the rest back. Okay, so... Power off guard. Uh, there's the Salt Pacification and uh blood to spare so mm -hmm. he's going to be revealing one of these as a boost one of them comes in and we get to discard one so no worries josh um so i think we don't want pacification okay so that's either a boost or a discard but blood to spare is a one boost so we'll discard pacification but then assault he's going to attack you He's going to attack, or it's just going to get in Surge. Are we good with that? I mean, uh, pacification yeah, gets fine. Surge anyways, so yeah, let's do yeah, that. Yeah, that does make a difference. Okay, cool. Okay. So we are... We'll have fun. We'll do one way or another. So search the encounter deck for a side scheme. Reveal that side scheme and draw three cards. Um, so we got reactor overload. We've got landing craft. We've got the black order. We're going to do the black order. Can you thwart for two by any chance? I forgot that one. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can. Okay, so we're going to do Black Order. Um, so while Black Order minion is in play, threat can't be removed from it. 
So we'll just take care of that because it comes in with four. And one way or another, so search it and then draw three cards. So Cutthroat Ambition, a Genius, and a Sonic Rifle. Okay. So we are going to play a Genius for a Nebulous Ship. We are going to thwart two off of the Black Order with Cosmo. We are going to thwart to remove the Confuse from Nebula. We're going to rotate down to Alter Ego form. We're going to toss a Think Fast for a Cutthroat Ambition, which will allow me to draw two cards. Skilled Investigator <laughs> and Lethal Intent. Um. We're going to play a skilled investigator on you. Perfect. So you got a skilled investigator. Nice. Thank you. And then I'm going to discard wide stance, lethal intent, and exhaust nebula ship to play sonic rifle. Um, I'm at full health too, so I don't need crew quarter. Yeah. Okay. That is my turn. All right, so I will thwart the two off the sides games, so this way we can use skill investigator right away. Nice. Um. Hmm. Okay. We're going to exhaust keen instincts which allows us to generate a wild resource for an attack or thwart event and we're going to throw away welcome aboard to play decisive blow unfortunately we don't really have a thwart event to play first so we will do four damage to our enemy bring him down to 29 nice and then since we did an attack thing we um Thwart for one naturally off the main. Um, okay. oof, it stinks, but I don't care. I'm going to throw away a decisive blow to play endurance. I'm going to hold on to my last two. So now I'm up to 13 life. And nice. Martin X is going to attack for one off the main, bring him down to 28. Okay, sweet. That's it. All right. So we're ready. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put my techniques up in my main row because I feel like I'm gonna get confused. Don't worry, dude. I got the best card in my deck, and that's Nebula. So I'm super excited to do so oh, much I'm with so, this card. I'm so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll get trapped in prison in Dolgo Door, and you can play them. That'd be cool. Yeah, right. That'd be fun. Oh. Oh. oh man, I love this game. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, God. That is a oh, weird. Yeah. Do you ever draw a hand? You're just like, I have no idea what to do with these cards. Like they're all decent. <laughs> I just I don't know the right way to play this. Except for Nebula. This is the worst card to possibly have. <laughs> All righty. So we're going to throw two on the main scheme. So we're up to six. Ebony Maul is going to scheme against me, but he's confused. And then he's going to attack you for two plus a boost card. Um, I have Cosmo that can step in if no. you need it. No, nope, okay. just let him hit me. Okay. So two plus two. So four. All right. So I'm going to exhaust key instincts to play a cross counter. Oh, I love, I love uh, it. I love it. Oh, yeah. it's so good. So I'm going to prevent three of that damage, so I only take one. And nice. then I deal one damage to an enemy and remove one threat from the main scheme. And then I trigger my special ability to do one more damage and one more threat removal. Still the most overpowered one cost card. In the game. I love that card. I, that, I love Gamora. So stupidly good. <laughs> so we're, we're back down to four on the main. And Mr. Ebony Maw himself is down to 26. And then you remove a spell counter from each one. So manipulation triggers. So discard one card at random from your hand. 
If this isn't Nebula, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pick a number. One through four. Four. Four from the bottom, four from the top. Four from the bottom. One, two, three. It's the top card. <laughs> I like that right here. Oh, bummer. The bo- okay. bottom was the nebula. Oh. <laughs> That's all right. I couldn't play. I was sitting on Helicary for a round now, so it's much better. <laughs> um, and then you're confused. Oh, so. Okay. Okay, so we've got bad cards. Do you want to guess what mine is? Uh, off guard. It, it's assault. <laughs> we talked about this. <laughs> no, I thought it was caught off guard. <laughs> So again, surge, <laughs> reactor overload. So when revealed, each player must either take two damage or place two threat here. Um, and it starts with three. I'm going to take two damage. Uh, yeah, I could take two too. Okay, so you're down to normal. ten. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And that's on now. Uh, reactor's three, right? What comes in with. Reactor comes in with three. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Then your bad card is Exhaustion Surge and Exhaust Your Identity card. Okay. Then Stinks. the Surge. Do you want to guess? Do you want to Ca- guess what the. Caught off guard? Caught off guard. <laughs> there it is. I knew it would get right eventually. <laughs> oh. It's a tough decision. That is tough, man. That is tough. Um, I'm going to go with Keen Instincts. Okay. Because there's another one in the deck. So yeah, that's what I get it. Okay. Boo. Now Ooh, you get is... first player and you get Cosmo. He has two damage on him, Cosmo. Uh, Cosmo has two damage on him. Yes. Okay. I want you to know I have the most useless hand right now. I have Nebula. I have another cross counter and I have Black Panther with four costs. Hmm. That's exciting. I hate this game. I hate uh, this game. <laughs> Okay, um, I guess I guess Martin X will thwart off of Reactor Overload. Oops, brings it down to two, and um, I guess that's it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm probably gonna throw it Gamora or Nebula away, but that's about it. So go ahead. Alrighty. So Josh, Mr. Rules Czar. Um, I have combat ready. This is discard cards from the oh, top wait, of wait, the deck. Wait. Oh, sorry. I don't I don't want to do this. Actually, I I, I reevaluate. I think we're gonna use Cosmo for the last two thwart and get rid of reactor overlord, and then we can draw cards. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. I don't, yeah, you get to draw. I don't have a skilled investigator yet, but yeah, you, oh, you don't. Yeah. That's, uh, you should get one. They're pretty cool. They are pretty cool, aren't they? Yeah. Nice. I guess you could have discarded that as your upgrade, but it's yeah, a, yeah. I didn't even, th- I'd rather draw cards. Yeah. 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 That's fair. Um, so, spoiler, this didn't really help me much. <laughs> well, you know, so random question Ebony Maw doesn't usually get tough status, right? I don't think so. All right, then let's hit him with a piercing strike because I hate him. So <laughs> Nebula and Black Panther will be used three damage to him. Nice. So, all right, I feel a little more productive. All right, sorry. Good. Fine. Okay, so uh, Josh, um, combat ready. This is discard cards from the top of your deck until you discard a technique card, put that card into play. That does not trigger Nebula's ability, which is after you play a card. It's putting into play versus play. That's different, I believe, right? While we wait on the answer to that, I'm going to exhaust crew quarters to heal one. There's a minion that can give it to him occasionally. Okay. So he, he may get tough at some point, but but then you just play a thwart card and then you can knock off the tough. Okay, cool. No draw. Okay, that's what I thought. I just want to make sure. Um, I'm going to play combat ready to search for two technique cards and add them to my or shuffle them into my deck. So I'm going to grab um, Unyielding Persistence and what else do I want? Um, I 
evasive maneuvering. So we'll shuffle those bad boys into there. Okay. We will we'll flip up to hero form. We're going to um, we'll toss a lethal intent to play making an entrance. So I'm going to thwart with plus two thwart. So I'm going to remove four thwart from the scheme. And since I do, I get to heal two damage. So that will take me back up to 12. Okay, Josh, I think you're right. I don't think I needed downtime. Um, and, <laughs> and then we are going to exhaust Nebula's ship and toss a lay down the law for a quake. Okay, we will stand everybody up. I'm gonna hold on to make an entrance. Eh, do I? Yeah, I am. Okay, Wiccan energy, one way or another. There we go, and skilled investigator, love it. Okay, so starting out, we're gonna go two on the main, and then Ebony Maw is going to attack you for two plus a card. Uh, do you need a blocker? Um, Does that help you? Because I can cross counter myself and then block with you with Martin X. I don't think so. Uh, actually, yeah, I'll take a blocker. Okay, then I will let uh, Ebony Maw. Uh... Oh, just kidding. I don't want to block her then. Well, because I'm thinking what stinks is now he's going to activate. Rebel Storm is going to kill Martin X regardless. Oh, it actually it kills him before. So it's when he activates. So all your spells take place first. Really? Yeah. It's a bummer. It's a bummer. Hmm. That stinks. Okay, so he's dead. And I get, what, two damage? Yeah. Um. Okay, so I guess I'll just let him attack me the old-fashioned way, too. <laughs> okay, so two plus a boost. Discard one card at random from your hand. <laughs> What's the number? One to five, maybe. Yeah, five. Three. Make the call. All right. Okay. That only slightly throws me off. Um, all right. So I'm throwing away welcome aboard to play cross counter. So I don't take the three damage. Very nice. Um, so, sorry, get rid of that. And then a main scheme zero. What's it at? No, it's at two, right? So both of those are going to go away. He's going to take two damage. Nice. All said and done. Awesome. So he's down to 21. Okay, now he is going to attack me. Fireball takes down to one, which is not exciting. And he's going to attack me. I'm just going to take it. So two plus zero. Big fan of that. Down two. And now we're doing some bad cards. You get one and I get one. You don't have any spells, right? I have none, surprisingly. Cool. Okay, so... Ready for yours? Yeah. Uh, I this abjuration. I, this is one of those words in the English language that my mouth just does not make. So mm. it's this card, everyone. Um, <laughs> so attached to Ebony Maw, prevent all damage to Ebony Maw. After this take, prevents two or more damage from a single attack. Discard it. And uh, which card is that? I don't remember. <laughs> um, <laughs> Okay. Abjuration. Oh, abjuration. Yeah, you are close. Ab abjuration. Abjuration. Yeah. My cutthroat ambition isn't going to remove threat from anything. Sad. Okay. So, blood to spare. So, when revealed, each minion engaged with the player activates that player. Each player is not engaged with the minion, searches the encounter deck, and discard pile for a black order minion, puts it into play, engage with them, shuffle the encounter deck. 
So I'm going to take an outrider. Do you want an outrider as well? It's not revealed. So it's just a Wait, one. Is one, it a two. black order minion? Yes. Isn't there only two options? Or are I, there are there more that I just don't know about? Uh black order infantry. Oh yeah, outrider. yeah there's more. Yeah, I was looking only under the black order deck. That's why. Black dwarf and super giant. And is it put into play or is it revealed? Uh it's Puts it into play. All right, I'll take the Outrider, the other one. Cool. Ew. Fireball attacks Outrider, right? I think it attacks all minions engaged with me too. One of my one of my favorite like D and D quotes is, um, "Do you play D and D at all?" I do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. One of my favorite D and D quotes was. No, I didn't ask how big the room is. I said I cast fireball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I love D. &D. It's so much fun. It's so great. Yeah. With that, so quick side note on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My my group and I used to play D, &D all the time, right? The four of us. We loved it. It was my best buddy, his wife, my wife, and myself. And then after that, we got Gloomhaven. We were like pretty much done with our campaign. Because, you know, it's supposed to be like D&D, &D, but everyone plays yeah. it. This is part of the reason why I hate Gloomhaven, because it's nothing like D&D. &D. To me, <laughs> to our entire group, fighting was always the worst part of D&D. &D. Like, everything in between of, like, trying to figure out what we're doing. And, like, I just punch everyone in the face, because that was yeah. my character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. was, like, the fun parts. So, Gloomhaven was, like, all the boring parts. And we hated, <laughs> we hated Gloomhaven, my entire group. So, fun fact. That's a part of the reason why I hate Gloomhaven. <laughs> well, I'm glad you shared that with us. Yeah, right. The, uh, draw the heat. Draw the heat. I'm ready. So, <laughs> so at PAX, they announced that they're doing minis for Gloomhaven, mm -hmm. which is insane. And then, uh, but they gave a mini out to everyone who attended the talk. Okay. Like a random mini. And so now I have a Gloomhaven mini that can hang out on our, on our board. Jesus Christ. I'm so <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to block that section of the screen now. Okay. <laughs> but are, so wait, are they doing it for all enemies? I guess everything all enemies all summons all ally like just there it's going to be a kickstarter of like five hundred dollars is my guess yeah. it's going to be yeah. insane but i love the but your opinion is my, my opinion is correct <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no i i get I'm, on, I'm the outside looking in there's there's a few things that piss me off of that game but i get i'm the outsider i get it people <laughs> love it it's fine you can all be wrong <laughs> Okay, so I'm first player, right? Um, do we read you backwards? Oh, yeah, we did do backwards. Yeah, yeah. wow. Man, we're, we're and I get him. Cosmo. Oh, wait, you murdered him. Um, you can have his dead body. <laughs> Is that know. what you wanted? <laughs> Apparently not. Um, That's messed up, dude. <laughs> okay, so cutthroat ambition triggers. I remove three threat from the scheme, but there is no three threat. Okay. So that's a bummer. Um, we are going to play a one way or another. Let's we'll search the deck for a card. So reactor overload. Um, I am sitting at 10. You're sitting at eight. I'm going to do a reactor overload as our as a side scheme. So when revealed, um, each player chooses to take two damage or places two threat there. So I'm going to take two damage. <sighs> and... You can place place two threat. That works for you? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. So what's that up to five? That's up to five. Also, my cat just opened the door. And so I'm going to kick him out because he will just sit here. Yeah, and he cry will mess up this game. Yeah. He will cry just the entire time. Oh, I see a little good. black blur walking yeah. around. Really cute. Let's let's show everyone my cat. Ah, oh, cat. Okay. <laughs> okay, one second. I'm gonna <laughs> we'll do a be right back because uh We'll kick him out. <laughs> One second.
Alrighty, cool. So, so reactor overload comes into play. We are going to draw three cards. So weapons master, think fast, and under surveillance. Okay, nice. Okay, I'm going to play a skilled investigator on myself. And I'm going to... I'm going to pay an energy to put Wiccan into play. I am going to thwart one off of reactor overload with Wiccan, discarding the top card of the encounter deck, which is three, and I'll do three damage to Ebony Maw. Nice. Uh, 18, right? Yeah. Cool. Yep. I will exhaust Nebula's ship to play making an entrance to thwart for four off of reactor overload. Wait, wait, wait. do we still have abjuration in the game? Does yes, it, it you're stop right. the damage? Yeah. Um, it's prevent all damage from Ebony Maw. So I guess I'll, I'll just kill Outrider because then it says you remove it from a single attack and that wasn't an attack. I'll kill your Outrider actually. Okay. Yeah. Because so he's back up to 21. Yeah, yeah. Good catch. Every now and again. All right. Bye, Outrider. Thanks, Josh. So reactor overload gets tossed. I heal two damage, and we both get to exhaust skilled investigator to draw a card. Hey. Boo. Okay. I will... I'm at 12. Fireball is going to hit me in the face, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to exhaust Sonic Rifle. Am I doing that? Yeah, I'm going to I so this is crazy. I actually don't know if under surveillance stays in this deck we really haven't needed it i know like, at all i know just crazy the only time that's like somewhat important i feel like is thanos right um maybe hella but like just Thanos, like we're gonna want to like try so hard not to go on to the second uh, level you know right yeah yeah so i'm gonna actually mm -hmm. keep sonic rifle I'm going to discard an under surveillance for a think fast. So take one damage and then confuse the enemy. I am then going to flip down to alter ego. Okay. I will exhaust crew quarters to heal that one damage. The threat thresholds are pretty high in this campaign. Yeah. Yeah. Um, then I am going to toss a Cutthroat Ambition to play a Weapons Master. So I get to draw two cards. And then I will toss a Gamora to play a Weapons Master. I think. Yeah, I think I want to do that. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I know I have another technique in these three cards because I shuffled it back in. So... It's good on Proximus scheme, though. Okay. Yeah. So maybe it stays in for one more. Okay. So that is my turn. Okay. Okay. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. There's still zero on there. You know, I was wondering, too, I'm thinking about this. If they have the threat thresholds higher on this campaign, because the first two, like, if you ran justice, you kind of rolled like pretty well. Like I felt like Guardians right. box, you hit new D justice and Red Skull, you could roll that box if you just did justice. <laughs> like right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right. Um, oh, I hate all my options. So what I'm. <laughs> all right, I think I'm allowed to do this. Set the pace. It removes one threat from a scheme. Can I still play this card even though there's no threat on the scheme? Does it do something else? Does or does it have an arrow in front of it? No. 
It does it, not. So it, if it doesn't have an arrow in front of it, it has to change the game state somehow. Uh, that's annoying because then, like, what's annoying is I can't just thwart then to get rid of my confused state. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like, you have to... I want to just, like, throw away a card because my hand kind of blows. I mean, I could do other things, too, but, like, it's just annoying that, like, you can't just, like, do that to get rid of it. Like, if I want to choose to thwart for no reason, I should be allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's fine. What we're going to do is... Uh, well, I, d- does it change the game state by removing your confuse? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. That's all right. Well, we're going to do something else. Anyway, but it's food for thought for chat and everyone that watches in the future if you could do that just to get rid of your own confused um but in the meantime we're gonna actually throw away set the pace and piercing strike and we're gonna do momentum shift so we heal two and deal two damage to an enemy which is nothing because we're not doing damage to him so you can take it but it's an attack, so it removes the bad card. Oh, you're right, right, right. Good, 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 good. That works. Okay, removes that. Um, we would do our little finesse thing to thwart, but we don't have to. Um, and then I would just straight up attack like normal to come down to what is it, nineteen? Very nice. Yeah, dude. I might, might. Poor Gamora is just like chugging along right now. Just, <laughs> ever since I lost Keen Instinct, she hasn't been the same. <laughs> she's changed. Yeah, she's not the same. All right, are you good? Yep. Yeah, that's it. Good. I'm going to flip everyone up. And playing Nebula or playing a hero that has a ton of upgrades makes me really reconsider buying those like ready exhausted tokens for, from by the same token. You like you use your dots. Yeah. I'm going to say a whole box of these is like four bucks. <laughs> <laughs> but the free shipping. Um, it's true. And I spend $130 or whatever. It's true. What, what am I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to support the local. Or not English the local. business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the local to the planet business. <laughs> yeah. I hate those Mars businesses. I never buy from them. <laughs> Exactly. Real cheap labor. <laughs> okay, I shuffled my encounter deck so I get a card. And oh, dangerous. Okay, well, I I'm pretty happy with what I've got. Um, okay, so we're going to start. We're going to place two on the main scheme. He is going to scheme against me, but he's confused. So that gets removed. Outrider is going to scheme. So that's going to put one. I will exhaust Quake to then deal two damage to Outrider, killing him. Nice. Nice moves. Thanks. Now he is... Oh, and then Fireball activates Boo. before all of that, and I take four. Boo. Okay, so now he's attacking you for two. Plus a boost. That's fine. I'll just take it. Okay, so two plus one. Okay. So three. Okay. And now we'll do bad cards. So I I said on the Lord of the Rings stream on Monday that I started switching out all of these cards into the Dragon Shield. Yes. And I love it. I love it. It's amazing. No. I I, I may have currently in the mail 12 more packs of dragon shield coming that are red back because i'm sleeving all my lord of the rings encounter cards oh and- that's awesome oh yeah he was confused against me thank you thank you so fireball doesn't oh uh, yeah what would we do without josh uh we would either crush this game or get <laughs> crushed i am not sure which <laughs> like this game's so easy <laughs> Okay, so I got a Black Order Infantry. So it's a guard. When defeated, give the villain a tough status card. So that's kind of a bummer. And then we've got Landing Craft. So this comes in and 
adds an acceleration token to the main, and then mm-hmm. when defeated, discard cards from the top of the encounter deck, put a min until a minion is discarded, put that minion into play engaged with the player defeated the scheme, and it comes with four. But that is just prime thwarting material yeah. for that skilled investigator. That's all I'm saying. We need something to do. So right. Hey, what 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 minion do you have over there? Black Order Infantry. Okay. So he's got guard. Which actually kind of matters, which is frustrating. It does, but if you do some a little bit of damage to him, that'd be real nice. Oh, wait, am I first player or are you first player? You will be first player. But we have to... I'm going to move Gloomhaven out of here. So, hey, you get a fireball. You get a fireball. You get a fireball. <laughs> All righty. So now you are first player. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a teammate. I'm going to be a helper. You know, so often in the stream, I just I don't help you <laughs> ever. I just say, good luck. You said it. Yeah, no, I know. I'm fully aware. I just want everyone, to, I want everyone else to know that I'm, I'm aware. Um, so I'm throwing away for you a mass attack, a forward momentum, and an acrobatic move to put in the rocket raccoon. Oh, the rocket of the rocketist of Ratu Queens. As in the rocket. As in Bradley Cooper. <laughs> oh, fireball surge. Fireball oh, fireball surge. surge. Fireball surge. Hey, I can uh, flip to my alter ego form. Um, uh, exhaust. I'm going to exhaust my alter ego form to remove this from the game. Nice. I'm telling you, this game would be a lot easier without Josh. Yeah, right? We would have done that <laughs> next round. We would have done stuff. This is so good. All right. So Rocket Raccoon is going to attack your Black Order Infantry for one plus a three attack since it's a minion and it gains overkill, but it doesn't really matter. Nice. So that's dead. You are welcome. My one good deed is done. Thank you. And Ebony Maw grabs a tough. What? When defeated, give the villain a tough status card. What? <sighs> This game. That's all right. No, please don't go, Josh. We would. What? Why would you show? Why, why would you show yourself out? You're like, you don't know the rules. <laughs> this is basically a one-person game at this point, and we're just pawns moving yeah. stuff randomly. Josh around. is the puppet master. He's over yeah. here, like <laughs> these morons don't know how to play. <laughs> all right, so I'll use another acrobatic move to deal two damage to Ebony Maw to knock off the tough, and then the old-fashioned way, I will. Well, would you rather me... No, wait. I can either do damage or unconfuse myself for the future. The choice is yours. Um, do damage. Two more damage. Two of them. Perfect. Okay. You good? Uh, yep. Yeah. As good as I get. Okay. So my turn, I will exhaust crew quarters to heal one. No, wait. I'm already at full. I forgot Fireball didn't activate. We're good. We're good. I know. This is this is really embarrassing. See what I deal with, Josh? Uh... <laughs> I'm going to toss him making an entrance to... I'm going to go with... Uh, evasive Maneuvering. Is that still on? Yeah. So I'll get to draw two cards. Cutthroat Ambition, and one way or another, hmm, I will flip up to the hero form. I'm going to... I'm going to toss a heroic intuition... Streaming adds a tons of distraction. Yeah, that's true. For our daughters of Thanos, it's not me. Three cards. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good, good, Anakin. It's also not um, somebody drawing seven cards each round. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, I need to figure out what I'm doing here. Okay, so I'm going to exhaust a nebulous ship. To put a cutthroat ambition, in. I don't have room to put a cutthroat ambition oh, into play. <laughs> I don't have room. My deck is too good. No, no, no. I know, right? It sucks. Um, 
uh, it's like part of me doesn't want to hit landing craft right now. I'm okay with that because if I draw one card, that just doesn't help me. Exactly. And so just take it off the main. Yeah, I think I may do that. So, okay, so here we go. Um, I'm going to toss a, yeah, I'm going to toss a genius to play lethal intent. I'm going to, your first player. Yes. So I'm going to stun Ebony Maul. Cool. And then I'm going to remove three threat from the main by doing evasive maneuvers and cutthroat ambition. Nasty. <laughs> um, I'm going to... Thwart one with Wiccan. Discard the top card, dealing one damage to Ebony Maul. Then I'm going to hold on to one way or another. No, I, I, I'm not going to hold on to one way or another. I am going to, we're just going to go crazy, man. We're going to toss it. one way or another, think fast and unyielding persistence to play a lethal intent for three. Solid. I'm going to deal four damage, deal four damage, Jesus. and I'll confuse them. Jesus. Holy cow. Okay. So he's down to eight. Yeah. Is he at 17 or 16? I think it was at 17. He, he was he I had him at 16 because you pinged him for one before. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. Okay, so at the start of my next turn, he will move on to this. He will move on to his third because both of oh, these okay. will trigger. Okay, cool. Good to know. Okay. So yeah. okay, so that that's my turn. Wow, that's it's like seven of my turns. <laughs> so we'll stand up. And what's really exciting is I have four techniques out right now. That's nuts, dude. So at the start of this next turn, four damage, four damage, stun, and I'm going to stun him because he's already confused and remove three threat from his scheme. So at the start of my turn, we'll draw a card. I don't know. I Nebula is awesome. Nebula is so cool. Um, now, do you think she works this good in solo or just because you're able to flip down? Like, do you think you could run the same exact thing in solo right now? Uh, no. Hmm. Um, ma mainly because I need more damage. Okay. It, it, yeah, I would. I would need to figure out damage. And so, what I think I would do, the way that I'd alter this deck for solo, is I'd run less. Like I, I have a couple of cards that I've been throwing on you, and yeah. I would probably. I I would I would sub a couple of cards out to do the things where it's like deal this amount of damage if to a confused enemy injustice oh okay so so the, that that's sense. what i would kind of sub out she she is great in solo yes i agree josh um that makes there sense. would be a couple of modifications to this deck that i would that that I would do though so okay cool okay so starting out we're going to add three on the main scheme and then ebony Mall is going to attack you but he is stunned and then he is going to attack me. Fireball activates. So I take four. So I'm down to eight. And then he is going to attack me for two. I am going to take it. Because I, well, no, I'm not. Because I have retaliate. I have retaliate too, but I'm already going to do eight damage. And he has eight. So I don't need to take it. So I'm going to yeah. have Wiccan step in and take it. So sure. it's going to be two plus two. So Wiccan. Ooh, and dies. Shadows of the Past. Good. Yeah, get, get rid of that Shadows of the Past. All right. Okay. Now we're doing bad cards. Okay. Give me a good one. Caught off guard. Uh, Advance. The Villain Schemes. He's confused, though. Ooh, that was a good one to draw. Good job. That is. 
I, I am. So one of the changes that Josh helped make with this deck is removing one copy of Sonic Rifle. And that was the right call. The other thing that I can think about is Sonic Rifle kind of has two abilities. You can remove a counter from it and confuse the enemy, which is what I normally do. Or I can remove a counter and deal three damage to a confused enemy. And so I'm looking at this like I have not touched Sonic Rifle. And so I may need to mess around with that and start doing damage with Sonic Rifle rather than using it for confusion. Because I've just like I I haven't run into that as an issue. You have so one or two in there, Sonic Rifles. I have one. I, I took okay. one out. It was a last minute change. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Okay. So my bad card. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah. My bad yeah. card. Uh, master plan. Place four threat on each side scheme. Ew. Ooh. Gross. Ooh. Ooh. You can so still landing do craft landing craft all right? <laughs> um, it, it may be a little bit tougher. <laughs> Okay, well... You could do it. I have faith in you. <laughs> cool. Alrighty, so... You're first player? I'm first player. So we're going to resolve two Weapons Masters to deal eight damage to Ebony Maw. Moving him to stage three. Gross. So when Ebony Maw activates against you, remove an invocation counter from each spell card in your play area, so similar. Um, and then each player discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until they discard a spell and puts that card into play in their play area. So we actually don't have, I'm first player. Um, we don't have but five cards in here. Well, any cards is never learned. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> so we'll discard, 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 discard. So, oh, oh that sucks. Um, so I get the rubble storm, then we shuffle. I was hoping that we wouldn't. Mm fulfill one of them but rubble storm enters play with three counters on it uh and then it's removed from the game uh or no i'm sorry uh discard two card or, wow okay you, you can do it I, you can do it you got words it. are hard words are hard, <laughs> words are hard. <laughs> <laughs> when it runs out deal two damage to all the characters sad and then we throw another acceleration token on this one and shuffle. More set. More set. Um, okay, so I am going to confuse the enemy with the evasive maneuvers. And then remove three threat from a scheme. So I'm going to take landing craft down to four. Okay. Okay. I will. Um. No. Uh. I'm at eight. I'm gonna stun him instead. Okay. okay. I'm going to exhaust Nebula ship to play a think fast. So I will take two damage and then confuse him. Or one damage and then confuse him. Then I will keep combat ready. I'm going to toss a Gamora and a Think Fast to play an under surveillance on the main scheme. Okay. I will. I'm at seven. We're fine. Did Jason get a spell? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Good call. Uh -oh. Okay, so you get fireball. Oh, good. Oh, I already have a fireball. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, the other one's still at four, too. Yeah, right? It's going to be a rough turn, so we have to win before those go off, is what you're telling me. Uh, it'd be ideal, yeah. <laughs> it would be ideal, okay. Um, and then Ebony Maw is up to 46. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he's got a lot of life. Yeah. Like, a lot, like a lot more life than I thought he was going to get. Yeah, right? <laughs> Okay, it's cool. So we're at 46. Uh, we are going to... We'll thwart two off of landing craft. 
We'll flip down to Alter Ego. I'll exhaust crew quarters to heal one. I'm going to play a combat ready to uh, shuffle two techniques into my draw pile. I'm going to put two weapons masters in there. You can kill them in four turns. Okay, that's a challenge. Over under, over under four point five turns is the is the line. Does anyone want to take live vets? I think we could do it in three. <laughs> Bold. I put I put money on three. Put money on three. I have a way of doing three damage this turn, so I'm very confident. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you say so? Well, because I wanted to get the bet for three first. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> I mean, that's really fair. Um, I am going to. Um, crush him. I'll attack him for two. Yeah. Oh, there it is. I need to start doing something with Quake because she's going to die here soon. So, <laughs> it's a rubble storm. All right, that's my turn. All right. We're going to make some moves. This game is going to get nuts. All right. Throwing away mass attack for keen instincts. We're going to exhaust nice. Keen Instincts to play clear the area. We're going to do it off of Landing Craft. Oh, my goodness. Draw two cards? Sir. I will be drawing two cards. Uh, this is the hero response, so I can't draw. And I didn't get what I wanted. But no! That's, that's all right. I don't even know what I wanted. But anyway, you have to put a minion in my thing, right? Basically. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. No, that's uh, all right. Discard cards from the top of the deck until we get a minion. There goes shadows again. Woohoo. So win, win, win. Advance. There are no minions. Oh, okay. So you get a Black Order infantry. Black Order infantry. What does he look like? Oh, he's perfect. It's perfect. He's I love it. Because I'm just going to hit him with Rocket Raccoon. <laughs> and he, de he dead. <laughs> and then Ebony Maw gets tough, right? From that? Yes. Hey, so all nice. of the status cards. Yeah, that's fine. That's cool. It doesn't happen all the time. <laughs> Do a damage for the thwart. Do a damage for the thwart. Do a damage for the thwart. Oh, oh, yeah, because yes. because your your thing is real. Yeah. Nice. Um, that happened before he was tough. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Oof. Good catch. Good catch. Professionals here. Yeah. Right. Um, Give us a couple of years and we'll start to learn the rules. And I think after that, we'll be good. No? Okay. Well, <laughs> we'll, we'll never be good or even mediocre, really. <laughs> all we but have is entertainment. Yeah. yeah. That's all we have. <laughs> we're having fun. And that's all that matters. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's noticed on my channel, but it's really just going to become comedy sketches soon. Like that's going to be, and I happen to play games in the background. That, that's I actually love goal. that. I love that idea. Yeah. Um, I mean, I stole it from more successful streamers. So, yeah. <laughs> And the other people have made millions off of it, right? It's, it's yeah. got to work. It's got to work. You could twice. probably do billions. I do billions when you can do millions. Um, <laughs> all right. We're going to throw away group, which hurts. And we're mm -hmm. going to throw away set the pace to do another momentum shift. So, okay. right? Yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to do. So we heal two. We do the two damage. Uh, since that is the attack one. Yeah, knocks off his top. Since that's the attack one, we thwart one off the main scheme. And then um, I can attack him the old fashioned way with two. Bring him down to 41, right? Yeah. Nice. So he's almost there. Perfect. And I'm done. Okay. So we will ready up. We will throw three on the main scheme. I need to draw first. Finally got the card I was looking for with three cards left. Um, now Ebony Maul is going to scheme against me, but he's confused. He's going to attack you, but he's stunned. Oh, that's sad. And there's still four counters on the fireball. We get an extra round. Boom. And bad cards. Hey, security breach. So hinder two, victory two. When revealed, each player places a random card from their hand face down here. 
Um, when defeated, return the face down card to each owner's hand. It has an amplify icon. Okay, so we've got we've got six. So we'll just roll a dice. So one. Oh, bummer! It's a strength. Why'd you roll a dice? Oh, as your random. Yeah. Whatever. I'm doing the second one down. Nowhere. That's all right. Doesn't screw up my plans too much. <laughs> and then mine is pacification. So surge enters play with three counters on it. And once the last one is removed, discard it and exhaust each upgrade I control. And then I'm stunned. And then surge into a manipulation, which has surge. Oh, guys. Ooh. <laughs> so that comes in with two. And that's the confused one. And then, oh my goodness, it's a pacification. Uh, Jason? Yo, what is going on over there? <laughs> Jason, help. Surge into a landing craft. Uh, so when defeated, discard cards until we get a minion. And that comes in with four. Well, my man, I, uh, <laughs> I don't envy you over there. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's exciting. Mm. <laughs> I... I can do two damage. Does that help the situation? <laughs> um, uh, you know what? Sure. Why not? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Okay. Well, that's something. Yeah, I mean, you have a lot of motivation to kill him in the next turn. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> and you're first player, so do it. Go for it. Okay. Crush it. Crushing it. All right. I throw away all my cards and I just yell YOLO and I leave. Oh, does that, does that help? Uh, no, oh, but okay. I like the idea. That's what I thought too. So we are throwing away Gamora's sword, which is always sad. Uh, Star Lord and conditioning room to play Drax. Oh, nice. Drax is going to do what Drax does best, which is attack the villain uh, for three. Sauron has turned his gaze on Nelson. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right. So that's 38. Um, then I am going to attack the old fashioned way for two off of him. And I hope you like that turn. There you go. I do. So he's down to 36. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. I have whatever you do here, one more round to do 30 some damage. That makes sense. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna start. I'm gonna exhaust crew quarter to heal one. So I go up to nine. Um I'm going to hmm. We uh, we're gonna do we're gonna play combat ready, and I'm trying to figure out if I want to shuffle two or discard cards until I get it. I think I'm gonna discard cards until I get a technique. Okay, so there's a technique. So look at the top three cards in the, and then I get to resolve it. Special uh, of the encounter deck, discard one and put the others back in any order. Okay, so we've got an advance, which would be pretty nice for a boost card got a reactor overload um, each player must choose to take damage or the weird card that i can't pronounce right on it chopper to lower yeah or ab 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 abjuration abjuration that one yep abjuration 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 um let's Go advance is my card. Is that fine? Do you have a blocker? Yeah, I have rocket as a blocker. Okay, so do you want to take abjuration as my boost? I think so, and then we'll get a reactor overload in, and we can thwart it for skilled investigator. Oh wait, no. Um, oh, yeah, we're just looking at boost. So, yeah, we'll. You're not gonna draw a boost card, right? Wait, what? No, you can if you, I can draw a boost card because Rocket's blocking all of it. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. You're you're uh you're not gonna 
deal yourself with an encounter card by running out of your deck. I, I am. See, you I are. Am. Okay, yeah. I have three left. Okay, so in that case, let's that... we're we're discarding two of these cards. In fact, or you're getting one of them as a so you're going to get reactor overload. Advance okay. will be your boost card, and then we're going to discard abjuration. Okay. Cool. Okay. That was complicated enough. Sweet. Okay, now we are going to flip up to Big Nebula. We are going to exhaust Nebula's ship to play a lay down the law to remove four threat from a scheme. I'm going to remove it from security breach. Is that down to one then? It's down to two. Two, okay. I am going to... Discard a lethal intent to play lay down the law to remove four from landing craft. And when defeated, discard cards until we get a minion. Oh, shoot. Yeah, we, we didn't plan that well. Oh, well. Yeah, we know. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, so Outrider. Then I will thwart. Oh, wait. I'm going to exhaust skilled investigator to draw a card. Okay, I will thwart with Nebula to remove Security Breach. So we all get our cards back. Yay, nowhere. <laughs> I will play a Strength to put Ironheart into play, which allows me to draw a card. And then I will... I'm going to toss a making an entrance to put a cutthroat ambition into play. So that's going to remove some threat for us. Um, Ironheart will. Where's my rubble storm? I got three turns for rubble storm. So I don't need to kill off quake quite yet. Yeah, we'll be fine. So Ironheart will thwart off the main for one. And Quake will hang out. Okay, we'll stand up. Uh, I get a bad card. Okay. Okay. And we are putting three on the main scheme. So that goes up to seven out of four, 16. Then Mr. Ebony Maw is going to attack you. So we're going to remove one counter from each fireball. No, it finally happened. <laughs> and he's attacking you for two. Uh, racket. Racket okay. black. So two plus one. No, oh, it's that racket. And then he's attacking me for two. Ironheart's going to step in. Two plus one. Ironheart takes it. And now we're doing bad cards. So you get one. We're almost through this deck again, dude. Yeah, we got we to gotta hustle. <laughs> um, all righty. So your first bad card, uh, the villain attacks you. So two plus a boost. Um, we will just... Take it. Okay. Uh, plus two. So four. Ooh. And then do you have any minions? I do not. No. It doesn't matter. But okay. Uh, okay. Oh, and then uh, surge and exhaust your identity card. And we're throwing another acceleration token on the scheme. I exhaust my identity card? You? Yes. You exhaust yours. No. All right. I'm going to like flip. <sighs> That's fine. I, I mean, I'll be able to. I'll. I. I can do like no attacks, but I can do a lot of thwarting this round. <laughs> so that's something. Okay, that's cool. Counters um, off fireball. Oh, did he do it again on me? Is that yeah. Why? Good call. Yep, he attacked you. Thanks. Oh, sure. that's right. Duh. Yeah, I just took it to the face. Oh, <laughs> the counters. <Yeah. laughs> uh oh. So he's at thirty-six. 
Um, whatever we want to. And I could do all thwarting. So that leaves you with 36. And then you've got a black dwarf engaged with you. Of course I do. Uh, My bad yeah. card is the villain in each minion engaged with me attacks. Okay, so we'll... I never removed these for the first time. Um, so... This goes down. Manipulation only had two. This goes down. This goes down. Manipulation triggers. Um, discard one card at random from my hand, and I'm confused. So we've got five, four, one way or another. That's probably fine. And I am confused. And the villain attacks me for two. I'm at nine. Um, that's going to be fine. Two plus two is four. Okay. And then I take one from Outrider. Okay. Wow. Well, that stunk. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> oh, well. Uh, I would reduce the amount each time by one. So I go back up to, sorry. So my white stance. Okay. So now. We quit. <laughs> no, not quite. Not quite. We're not, <laughs> we're not quite there yet. Uh, so I got first player. So I will trigger cutthroat ambition to remove three threat from a scheme, taking this down to four. I will trigger white stance to look at the top three cards. One of these is going to be my encounter card. Okay. And then one of these will be your boost card. Um, so I'm going to take abjuration as my encounter boost card. My boost card will be advance and then black order infantry will be discarded. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Um, now I am going to. Did you say you're flipping down? Yeah. For yeah, yeah. I have to. Five, six, seven, eight. I have. To, I, I have to heal a lot more. That's my problem right now. Because I'm about to get hit with eight with fireballs. <sighs> yeah. Not, not yet, but. Yeah, two rounds from now. Oh, wait, we're confused. We're being yeah. told we're confused. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, so that goes back up to seven. Oh. But I removed my confused. Oh, well, that's something. <laughs> um, I'm going to exhaust Sonic Rifle to confuse Ebony Maw. Solid. I will... Um, I'm going to, how much threat can you remove? I can do six. Okay, cool. So I'm going to I will hit Outrider with Quake, killing Outrider. Nice. I will hit Ebony Maw for two. Nice. I will discard a Justin Served to put a Weapons Master into play, and then I will discard a... No, I'm going to exhaust a Nebulous Ship to... I'm at... For some reason, I thought I was at four health. Am I at six health? I think I'm at four health. Did I heal two? Uh, 
I I don't remember you taking off health many times recently. He attacked me. Oh no no I heal too because of white stance. Okay okay no. So I am going to put. another wide stance into play okay okay that's my turn all right so let us make sure that this makes sense ba, 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 ba. okay we're gonna throw away nowhere and exhaust keen instincts to play forward momentum, uh, which removes three threat from the main scheme and does one chip damage. Um, I guess off of, uh, no, we should probably do it off this stupid dwarf in front of me. Okay, focusing on him a little bit. And then we are going to throw away, make the, uh, I'm sorry. Well, it doesn't really matter. We're then going to use set the pace and remove one threat from a scheme. So that could be the main one. Bring down the three. And then throw away, make the call to play clear the area to remove another two. Bring it down to one. Cool. Then, oh, no. Something was off with that because I am confused and I couldn't do all that. So add one back on. Let's just say I did set the pace first. Okay. So it starts, it's at two. Yeah. And then I finally am not confused. All right. Now I flip down. There we go. Okay. Um, that's oh, oh, before that, Drax attacks Ebony for three. Went down to 31. Nice. All right. So I was a little off of my three round guess, but it was close. <laughs> close. Okay. So we will ready everybody. We will draw some cards. Good. Good, 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 good. I get an encounter. Okay. This looks like an okay hand. Things are getting better. Good. Can now do three damage. Okay. We're getting there. Yeah. That's one way of looking at it. We're very <laughs> slowly getting there. I love it. Okay. So we're starting out. We're placing four on the main. Oh. No. Yeah, that's gross. Yeah. So that's up to six. Uh, Ebony Maw is going to attack me for two. Uh, and I know it's a zero. So I take one damage because of white stance. So, um, so I'm down to five. Before that, Rubble Storm. Activate, so I take two damage. Sad. Uh, and then pa two pacifications um, take place, which actually isn't that horrible. I exhaust each upgrade I control, and I am uh, mm. stunned. But they're both the same, so it doesn't... Yeah. Okay. All righty. Um, no, Weapons Master. I, I shouldn't have played Weapons Master. I forgot. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. That's, this is like, uh, yeah. So I won't deal the four damage. Oh, well. Sad. Okay, and now he's scheming against you, but he's confused. So nothing happens. Doesn't activate. Perfect. And now we get bad cards. Oh, uh, my Black Dwarf schemes for one. On the oh, main. cool. So up to seven. Thank you. Yep, yep. My bad cards, we've got the Abjuration and Reactor Overload. So when revealed, each player must take two damage or place two for you. I'm putting four it down. starts with three. So I'm at three. I'm going to place the thwart two. So that's uh, seven? Six. No. Yeah. Three, four, five, yeah. six, seven. Yeah. Four, six. Okay. And then you have Black Order Infantry with Guard. That's good. That's all right. He already has the abjuration thing on it. Jeez, man. Okay. Your first player. Nope. Okay. So the first thing I could do is look at the top and see if it's an attack or thwart event. 
the attack event. Hmm, I see. That's an interesting event. Okay, so we now have. Oh, before I flip, sorry, I wanted to heal three. That was the whole point of flipping. Okay. Can you? Can you heal? Oh wait, no, you still had two counters on fireball. Okay. Yeah, but I'll be. I'm gonna heal a little bit more too. So. Okay, sweet, cool. Uh, once I learn how to count. <laughs> uh, all right, how do I want to do this? Let's... Okay. Okay. <laughs> what I think we're going to do is crush it. Good. Yeah, I think that's the best way to do this. Is to I think it. so. Yeah. You do have that pesky guard. That yeah, he, no, he's gonna get crushed. I don't mean crush as like beat the enemy. I mean I'm just oh. going, I'm gonna figure out my problems because I got a whole boat <laughs> of them. All right. So what we're gonna do. Quite simply, is oh wait, how did I do that math? That math doesn't make any sense. <laughs> oh yeah, because I'm not gonna do the math the way I thought. That's why it doesn't make sense. Um. Okay. So is that worth doing then? If I hold on to those, I could do that. Oh no, but I'm stuck with that. Okay, now that is the way to move. Just that. That way, that will just do that. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> um, okay, what if? What if I don't do any of this and just die? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, two. And we can get that. That back that. It's still stupid. Um, gosh, this is not ideal. Okay. Okay. What we're going to do, <laughs> there's just no right way to do this. This stupid black dwarf is kind of throwing everything off. Mm. Or we don't play that card. What we do instead is play that. that. And then we hold on to this. That's, that's going to be our play. Okay. Okay. The first thing we're going to do as any good game should be, is we are going to set the pace for this entire turn awesome. and allow us to remove one threat <laughs> off the uh, side scheme, which allows us to do one damage. That one damage is going to be done on the Black Dwarf. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then... We are going to exhaust keen instincts. Oh, that doesn't really work great either, but that's okay. Keen instincts and uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, throw away piercing strike to play decisive blow, which is going to do seven instead. Actually, I take that back. I'm going to put the one on the black order. Do seven instead of black dwarf. Nice. So, so he's he dead. Very nice. That also allows us to thwart one because it's an attack, um, bringing that down to five or whatever. Nice. Then this is kind of where we stall out because we're going to be throwing away welcome aboard, 
Um, so play only if you identity is a guardian, which we do. Max one per round. Reduce the cost of the next ally. Play this phase by two. So we're going to play Star Lord for free. Cool. And we get a face down card in our area. Um, nice. We are going to. Can you. Can you kill Black Order Infantry? No, he'll have one life left. I can do two damage to him. Can you thwart Reactor Overload then? For two? I can. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Uh, let's see two off of that. Okay, cool. Okay. Very cool. Okay. You're good? Yeah, that's enough of that. Okay. So we'll resolve this. So look at the top three cards. So... Are you drawing a card? You're not. I'm not drawing a card. So these are going to be the boost cards. So we've got an Assault and an Agent of Thanos and a 2. So I'm going to discard the 2. And he's going to attack you first, and he's going to scheme against me. And so we're going to add 4, 7 based off the scheme. So eight would be the agent of Thanos. And so if we do eight, then that puts us at 15, which is one short. I'm going to risk that rather than you take a damage, an extra damage. Yeah, it's I guess. not great. Wait, no, you, you're, you're going to have Star-Lord block, right? I can, yeah. He has one life left. He has two life left, oh, but nice. we're probably going to have to do that anyway. So okay, then then you're going to take the the boost, and then I won't. Okay, okay. cool. Okay, sounds good. Sweet. And then weapons master gets rid of my stun. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to. Reactor overload has three on it, right? Yes. Great. Okay, I put four on it. I was like, I really <laughs> messed up the math here. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to put Wiccan into play by paying an energy. I will thwart one off of Reactor Overload with Wiccan. I'll discard the top card of the deck and deal one damage to uh, the Black Order Infantry. One damage. Sweet. Yep. Then I've got three health. I'm going to... Um, I forgot that my skilled investigator is. I don't think it actually matters if I don't want to thwart reactor overload right now. I'd rather do that next turn to give or allow you to do it next turn so you can draw a card. Because right now, if I take it out, it doesn't actually affect anything. Mm, I get what you're saying. That makes sense. Okay. So, okay. In that case, I am going to flip down to Nebula, exhaust crew quarters to heal a damage. I'm going to discard a lay down the law to play a weapons master to draw two cards. And I will, I'll discard a lethal intent to give you a crew quarter. Ooh, yay. Uh, is that a support or an upgrade? Uh, that is a support. And actually, instead of uh, discarding, I'm going to exhaust Nebula's ship to do that. Okay. So, man, I guess this is really mad at now, but this is just an open-ended question. Yeah. Let's say you would have gotten Reactor Overlord and Psy Scheme have been defeated, so I would exhaust the skilled investigator to draw a card, right? Yeah. Could you do a hero action card like yes. call on me to do something? Yeah. Assuming you could pay for it and everything, but yes. Interesting. Okay. So we will ready up. Is that what we should have done? Eh, it doesn't really change too much, to be honest. <laughs> oh, wait. It changes everything. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Nothing's different. Sweet. Sweet. Okay. I I like that. 
I like what I drew, kind of. Um, alrighty, so starting out, we're going to throw a four on the main scheme. So that goes up to 11. Uh, Mr. Ebony Maw is going to attack you, so we're going to reduce one on each one of your fireballs, and he's attacking you for two plus a boost card. The boost card is one. Um, so we're going to block that with Starlord. Or the boost card is zero. Shoot, I put those on. Oh, no, I discarded one with Wiccan because I'm an idiot. Uh, okay. Man. I'm telling you, three years. Three years, we'll get it. Yeah, um, but then there'll be a new game out and the rules will change completely. We'll that's be way right. off. <laughs> <laughs> now Ebony Maw is going to scheme for three plus zero. Hey, it worked out. Um, actually, that was great because that, actually, yeah. <laughs> that got rid of the advance. Okay, cool. So we're adding <laughs> three. Um, so that goes up to 14. Out, 14 out of 16 because I'm under surveillance. Yeah. Now we're dealing um, out bad cards. I don't know how you're going to deal with that. And do 31 damage. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be impressed. We'll figure it out somehow. Mm, will we? <laughs> Alrighty, so Landing Craft comes in with four. And it's when defeated, you get a minion. And an acceleration token. I've got three acceleration tokens. That's fun. Yep. And then you've got an Outrider, so discard one card at random from your hand. Oh, come on. Don't be a card. Freaking game. <laughs> All right, we're going to do a second one from the top. Give me something good. All right, Black Panther. That's the one we have to lose. Cool. Okay. Then I drew Channeling Trace, which would have removed one counter. It removes one counter from each spell. I am well, really happy I got that. That would have... Uh, Oh. Would have ended the game pretty fast. <laughs> yeah, put card or discard cards until I get a uh, a spell. So I got a manipulation. Okay, so that comes with two, and that will confuse me eventually. Okay, oh, excuse me. Okay, we'll pass the first player, and we're off to the races. All right, you need to win. Um, I. It's like the fifth time Chase has had discard a card. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Yeah. It's fun to play with four cards, sometimes three. <laughs> <laughs> so us crew quarters to heal one. Um, we're we're in a pretty good situation, at least like setting up wise. I think mm. so. Let me. I need to figure this out. Take your time. Um, if you could, like I said, just run the table, just do 30 damage. If you do 30 <laughs> damage, I will take care of the rest. I will figure it out, but I will do it. Alrighty, I'm going to need you to go down to Alter Ego on your turn. Okay? Uh, yeah, sure. I, I'm going to confuse them. Uh, yeah, I can do that. Um, okay, so starting out, I'm going to exhaust Nebula's ship to put a Evasive maneuvering into play. Um, which draws me two cards. So Iron Heart and Unyielding Persistence. Okay. I am going to Okay. I am going to Sorry, there's there's a lot of thinking going on. That's fine. It hurts my head. Um, That's why I don't bother and I just play random cards. No, for the best. <laughs> I want to flip up the Nebula. I am going to um. We uh, let's go ahead and thwart with Wiccan, and I think I'm going to take it off of. Let's 
Is that for one or two? It's for one. Okay. Um, I'm going to take it off reactor overload. Taking that down to one. Discard the top card. Three boost icons, which is great. Wow. So I'm going to kill your Black Order infantry. Hey, thank you. Okay. Oop, there it is. Oop, there then it is. we are going to more damage. Um, two from a single attack. Uh, can you attack for two on your turn and then call on my action? Off of Ebony? or Yeah. Yeah. I, can I guess Drax can do it. I need to get rid of Abdur 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 um, oh, oh, yeah, no, that's no problem. Yeah. Okay, cool. So that will be played on your turn. I will toss a Iron Heart to thwart landing craft with Nebula after playing Making an Entrance. So mm. that's going to remove the landing craft. Heal me two, and we both get to draw a card from Skilled Investigator. And you get a minion or whatever? I get a minion, yes. Thank you. Draw a card. Oof. Okay, so I have a Super Giant, so Quick Strike. So she comes in and hits me for two. And after she attacks and damages a character, that character is stunned. Oh, no. Um, ah, oh, gross. I should have, I should have known that. Um, does quick strike happen if it's discarded and put into play? It's one of those weird rules. I think so. I, okay. I yeah, I think it's one to put in play, not a one. Okay. Field. Okay. So in that case, I will be stunned. Okay. Yeah, I think the only way that doesn't happen is if you're alter ego. It's like the only time. Okay. Um, oh, that's too bad. I will... Yeah, when it's engaged, it's not revealed. Okay, yeah, that's too bad. Okay, so I, I've got this, which will... Oh, actually, well, I'll just get rid of weapons master. Tough status card. So I can stun. Okay, so I'm going to toss Quake to play Think Fast to take a damage and confuse the enemy. Were you confusing? Uh, oh, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Um, then I'm going to um, I feel like this turn is taking forever. I'm sorry. Uh, Wait, don't I'm going to, take your time. Take your time. Uh, discard a cutthroat ambition. No, I'm going to discard a and yielding persistence to play a cut through an ambition. Could I have defended it? Defended what? Uh, could do you have a minion? And could I, our Drax could have defended the attack, or you could have defended the attack and taken this. This. Yeah, like if you defend the attack, I'm not stunned. Oh, okay. Um, um, what? How much? How much was the attack? It was two. No, I'll die. 
because I'm about to get hit with the eight. And I Not need to heal. If you roll down, you don't get hit with the eight. With the fireball, I do. No, because he's confused. Uh, but also, if you just defend it, like you have a defense of two, so it doesn't. You're just exhausting yourself. That's true. Do you want me to do that? Um, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Defend it. Okay. Thank you. That helps. That helps a lot. Okay. Okay. So that is my turn. Perfect. Yeah, no, Josh, we need to find a, yes. a streaming service that makes my thing come through in somewhat high definition. Yeah. Zoom is not great. Zoom so we're, is terrible. Yeah, we're pulling it through on Zoom. I want I feel like all all streaming services, you're it's gonna be tough to find a streaming service that goes 1080. Yeah. Dude, you nice. you could stream on Twitch and then I could grab the video from your stream and just completely destroy my CPU. Wow. Oh, you don't need a good computer, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. Like I looked into it and like the only service I can find that's 1080 is StreamYards, right? Okay. And for the for that, you need the best account. Yeah, it's, like, it's so expensive. It's like, yeah, three hundred dollars or four hundred dollars a year or something stupid like that. <laughs> Josh says he's on his phone, so Oh, yeah, so they make difference. But still, I see it. I just look at it, and I throw up in my mouth every single time. <laughs> so sad. Okay. I forgot. Are you done? I am done, yeah. All right. So, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Um, let us start. So we are moving on if if nothing is done on the scheme. And I think I'm okay with that. Nah, I just, we're, yeah. We're okay. We're okay. 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 We're okay. Cool. I'm, we I'm also have, to... we have a crisis icon. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to blow your mind by how good I play. I am like, so excited. You're just like, whoa, who is this guy? I'm like D20. Um, <laughs> I'm exhausting keen instincts, throwing away Gamora sword. Cause it's way too late to play it. And <laughs> we are going to do a momentum shift. So I heal oh, two. Nice. I'm going to do two damage on the main because I just. So uh... that, no, get rid of the app. Ab- oh, yeah, that's right. The thing's on it. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. You do that? Um, now that allows me to do one thwart, thwart, which will get rid of reactor overlord. Overload, not overlord. Oh, my God. Okay, so that's an attack event. Then that's going to cause us to play an energy card to do forward momentum which allows us to remove five threats since we did an attack event. We will do five off the main. Huge. Uh, he's so good. He's so good. Um, <laughs> and uh, I can't do anything with my guy, but I can hit with Drax now for three. Um, so he's not going to scheme at all, right? So that's going to go up by one, two, three, Four. twelve. 13. That's going to be 14. Is anything else going to make him go up anymore? Is it only going to be at 14? Uh, it'll only be at 14. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, yeah, we'll hit Ebony because Outrider, I feel like we can take care of eventually. Okay. So he's down to 24. Okay. Can you call on an action, please? Wait, wait, wait 24. Uh, it's 28. 21. Sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry. Right. And then. Um, I will not call on your action. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you get it. Okay, so I'm going to play a genius to play a lethal intent. So I'm going to resolve two of my uh, technique upgrades. I'm going to deal four damage to Ebony Maw. Um, taking him down to 24. That's where the 24 is coming from. Surprise. Oh, and I had to flip. But, oh, wait, no, I'll flip after your call. That's right. Sorry. Okay. And then I will... So we're at nine. We're placing four. So that'll go up to 13. I'm going to stun. I'm going to activate evasive maneuvering and stun Ebony Mall. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Here you go. Um, And yeah, Outrider is going to bring it up a little more. Oh, Um, okay. Cool. 
I will then flip over and I will exhaust crew quarters to heal one more. So you're at 11? Yes, yes, I'm at 11, and that is it. Okay. Whew. This is tense, man. This is tense. Yes, we're crushing it. We're so good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, that is a rough hand right there. Gross. Rough, do you mean good? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. I was I was a little worried. <laughs> okay. Um okay, so we're gonna throw four on the main. So that's gonna take us up to 13. Okay. Oops. Throwing things everywhere. He's gonna attack me, but he's stunned. It's gonna come and then super giant's going to attack me. I'm gonna block with Wiccan. I don't want to hurt myself. And then uh, he's going to scheme against you. He's confused. And then we're going to place one on from Outrider. I want to start putting your minions up near my, uh, off camera, but up near my my thing so I can remember it a little bit You better. can just put them right in your play area. Just take mine. Just right? take yours. Yeah. yeah. I took a Nazgul for you, dude. Come on. That's fair. I do owe you. I do owe you. <laughs> you can at least take this Outrider. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Um, and now we're doing bad cards. This is where it could all go wrong. Uh, we got a security breach. Um, which we already did this, and I never put it in the victory. Display. Yeah. So I've got under fire. So surge, reveal the top card of the encounter deck. That's not great. Um, okay, so we've got blood to spare. So each minion engaged with a player activates against that player. Um. So mine schemes one. Okay. Ooh. And then Super Giant's going to attack me, and I'm going to defend um, so I don't get stunned. Okay. Okay. And then I've got a Rubble Storm, which has Surge. Stupid, stupid game. Uh, <laughs> and I've got uh, Rune Revealed Hero deal one damage to your hero for each spell environment in your play area. Um, so two. Okay. 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 We're we're getting there. We're it's fine. It's slow and steady. Slow, slow and steady, steady wins the race. <laughs> okay. Your encounter card is uh you're an alter ego, so it gains surge, which Perfect. means we're putting oh another acceleration token. The last acceleration token. So we don't have to worry about that anymore, which is kind of fun. Um that's that's the point you want to be in the game. Is yes. not needing to worry about more acceleration tokens. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, not fun until you have four out there. The game gives you four. You should use four. <laughs> look at this beauty of a card that you just drew. Oh, you know what? I was thinking, how many times can we get lucky by not getting that card? So that's something. <sighs> well, oh, wait. So that's interesting because Nebula can't come and play for me. So it gains surge. It, it gains surge, but we still keep the sibling rivalry card out there. So, you know, that's good. Players other than Gamora cannot remove threat from si sibling rivalry. Oh, good. I'm going to be busy for a while. Then <laughs> face begins deal one face. To Ugh. No, I really didn't have time for that. <laughs> I was trying to do other things, like have Drax do all the work for me. <laughs> Hang out. Okay, so after the villain phase begins, deal one face on encounter a card to Gamora. Ew, gross. Um, ew. Well, I wish you the best of luck with that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Okay. So that gains surge. So you're getting another card. Yeah, if you could, that'd be great. Assault, gain surge. Hey, you got the Black Dwarf back. Oh, yeah, I was thinking. I really missed him. It'd be cool <laughs> if he hung out with me. He's got a cool axe. I want to take that. <laughs> okay, so now you're first player. Oh, good. 
All right, so the first thing we gotta do is look if this is an attack or thwart event. It is not, it is a helicarrier, that is sad. Um, oh, we gotta exhaust crew quarters and heal up one more. Okay. This is the problem because I'm not 100% sure what's the right move. I'm gonna stun him so your fireballs are gonna be fine. Okay. Assuming we don't draw another card. Yeah, so, well, we probably will. Right. Uh, <laughs> That's the spirit. Oh, yeah. I like to be positive. All right. So what we're going to do... I'm really excited. I'm happy you are. Because <laughs> I'm not. Um, I just uh, I don't like any of these moves or options or cards or things. <laughs> you too. We can do that. We do that and that. That's a thing. Um, if I do two damage to Ebony Maw, can you do twenty-two? Is that a fair um, amount? Is that normal? Can you can you do like? Quick calculation says no. I can, can do not that much. Can you do over under? Under. The answer is under. <laughs> Two. The answer is over. <laughs> oh, okay, at least we got that. <laughs> uh, ah. The other thing that so on the at the start of my turn, I'm dealing four damage to an enemy, right? So I was thinking about just hitting Ebony Maul with that, but I can also like if you do two damage off the black dwarf i can still kill the black dwarf um on your turn so there, there are other there are other options so just just so you know that's kind of what i'm doing and then i'm stunning ebony maw okay um <laughs> let's see what's the best math what's the best math we do that, we do that, we do that. I think that's what we're going to do. Okay. Oh, but we could do that. Oh, we could do something else. No, it's stupid. We're not doing that. Okay. We are throwing away make the call. Well, using make the call, not throwing away. Oh, shoot. He's cost more than I thought. <laughs> Son of a gun. Um, <laughs> what about Star Lord? <laughs> He's okay. Uh, yeah, but then I get a face down and counter card, but YOLO. So, yeah, okay, whatever. We're going to put Star Lord. So I get a face down and counter card, and I'm going to throw away cross counter and piercing strike to pay for Star Lord. Now, How much damage do you say we're going to do the Black Dwarf? I can do four damage to an enemy at the start of my turn. Whether or not that needs to be on the Black Dwarf, probably. Or I can kill Super Giant, but I, I, I retaliated one. I put a damage on there, so I'm not just well, cheating. Yeah, no, I could probably take out the Black Dwarf. That's okay. Can you take out Sibling, sibling Rivalry? I could do that as well. I think I think that's key because I don't want you resolving three encounter cards. That's, that's fun. And All we right. get to draw a card. That's true. Okay, so Thwart 2 with Gamora. Thwart 2 with Star-Lord. Stupid sibling. Stupid Nebula. Nebula. <laughs> draw a card. All right, be a, be a good one. Oh, yeah, it's Helicarrier. That's right. So, um... <laughs> So bitter. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, so we will exhaust. Oh, it's exhausting. So we'll exhaust keen instincts to throw away helicarrier and play decisive blow. Now, the question is where to do four damage. Um, Can you do it to super giant? He has four life left. Yeah. Yeah, sure. I can take care of it. 
All right, consider him dead. Either that or we just start rushing Ebony Maw, right? Like we can do eight damage this round just with those two events. And we can just start trying to see what we can do. Um, I do love the idea. I will say that. I'm a little worried because I'm going to oh shoot Mac yeah down pretty hard wait oh, wait but yes. he has a stun on him right uh oh no he doesn't no. no but that's a great point josh thank you i do have a lethal intent in my hand so you can call on me to play a lethal intent before my cards go away so 100 percent do that all right i call on you to do the thing that you said you're gonna do okay so i will exhaust nebula ship to play a lethal intent to deal four damage to have any more. Can you call on me again? Uh, no, we get once. <laughs> uh, yeah, I will call on you again. I will discard a lay down the law to play a lethal intent to deal four damage to have any more. So he's down to 16. I will deal four more damage to him. Um, okay, this game got a lot more interesting now. Yeah. Um, and I'm also. Yeah, okay, that's good. Thank you, Josh. That was amazing. That's good. Yeah. We should play this game two player more often. <laughs> it's just yeah, things right. I don't think about. <laughs> That's the problem. Like, I get excited with this stuff to be like, oh, I should do it myself. Right. Yeah. Right. And, like, the thought of like doing everything you're doing right now and me, I'm just like, it hurts my head. Like, just thinking about <laughs> it, to be honest. And then like streaming on top of it. Like, no, nah, it ain't happening. <laughs> Um, all right, then that's the side. So we're going to decisive blow Ebony Maw. Bring him down four. to 12. For four. Okay, sweet. Then Drax is going to do his final hit for three on him. Bring him down to nine. Okay. I am done. Okay. So. So at the start of my turn. Do nine. Oh no. Um, remove three threat from his scheme. So that'll be the main. Deal four damage to an enemy. So that'll be Ebony. You're welcome. It's not something you think about with Nebula. It really, yeah, no, I definitely just did not think about that. Um, and then I will stun Ebony Maw. I will discard a heroic intuition to play a Daughters of Thanos to draw three cards. And that didn't work. <laughs> um, I'm going to... He's got five health left. Okay, I'm going to play one way or another to put a side scheme into play. Okay. We have to overload. Overload. We're going to put landing craft into play, and we'll never touch it unless we need to draw a card. But that comes in with four and acceleration token, but we're maxed out on acceleration tokens. <laughs> I have one hidden in my thing. I have five, so I can do it. <sighs> oh shoot, there there are five. Oh no. Uh miscounts. Okay, let me let me I actually I don't know if that matters. I don't think it matters. Dude. I think <laughs> we're just gonna have to go up to the next one anyway. And then what? We get a spell? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna. Yeah, we'll we'll throw that on there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we'll <laughs> we'll shuffle this in. Um. Okay, okay. Then I get to draw three cards. It's another one way or another, but it's max one per round. Got it ready. Man, this is the worst. Hand. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Well. Um. I will exhaust and discard Sonic Rifle to confuse Ebony Maw. Oh. And we will 
flip down to Nebula. I'll heal one. Side schemes don't actually put out physical acceleration tokens. Okay, well, that's good to know. Still going to be out there. I did not know that. So, interesting. Gonna... Okay, so you could go through the deck five times, and that's when the game is like, that's too many times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put a combat ready to put a weapons master and a... Dude, how many cards do you have in your hand right now? Weapons master. <laughs> I still have five cards in my hand. <laughs> okay. Shuffle those back into the deck. Then we are going to play a combat ready to discard cards until... Hey, Weapons Master, sweet. Okay. We are going to discard a Gamora to play Justice Served. And two, four. That, that will be that. Okay. Solid. Well, luckily, as long as we survive, we're good. Okay, so we move on to the next. Oh, man. I love it. Okay. 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 Well, at least we hit a new record with five acceleration tokens on this. On this <laughs> thing. And that's cool. I'd say we did that. At least. It fires for four damage. It fires for four damage. What does? What do you have? Oh, it does. Yes, you're right. You're right. Because I resolved the special. Oh, on your thing. Yeah. So he's down to one. Oh, come on. See, if I never blocked for you, I could have done two damage. Just so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Josh. Um, so when revealed, shuffle the encounter deck into the discard. Or no, shuffle the discard into the encounter deck. Um, <laughs> And then discard until uh, spell environment is put into play. Sweet. I cross counter. Do you have cross counter, Jason? <sighs> no. No, bummer. <laughs> I do that. Um, That'd be nice. Okay. So discarding for you. Give me something good. Give me a fireball. Fireball. <laughs> I think fireball. there are only two. Okay, so you get a rubble storm. That's fine. And then discarding for me, I get a pacification. Yep. Oh man. Dude, we're so good. I'm not even worried about this. We're so good. This is this is kind of insane. Um and then the power stone. So this comes with two and dies it. 18. Okay. Yeah. Um, I need to draw cards. Five. Okay. Um, so against you, he is going to attack, but he's, or he's stunned. And then um, Black Dwarf attacks me for three. I'm going to block it with Star-Lord, who takes two of it, and I get hit with one because he has overkill. Okay. And then, what's his face? Outrider hits me for one. Okay. And then, yeah. Okay. And then Ebony Maul is going to scheme against me, but he's confused. And then Super Giant is going to scheme for two. Okay. Now we're doing bad cards. So you're resolving two, and I'm resolving one. Love it. Give me okay. Some, give me something good. When revealed, Stun and Confuse Gamora. Why not? <laughs> okay. And then surge and reveal the top card of the encounter deck. Good. So open for two more. Ooh, abjuration. So he has a buffer of two. <laughs> and the villain schemes for three plus boost. Give the villain a tough status card. We're not going to win. We're not going to win. <laughs> I am significantly less confident right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to lose this game. Two. So is that the five, right? On the... It's. It's up to seven. What? 
It started with two. Yeah, but he did three, right? So yeah. He started on two and got three, so it's up to five. That's how math works. Yeah, okay. They're trying to make us lose. Jesus. <laughs> We're working on losing already. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> oh, cool. And then I got reactor overload. Um, so take two damage or place two threat there. Oh, oh, even better. Okay. Well, I just dump more threat on it, right? Yeah. So that'll be seven. Six. I think we have to if <laughs> Josh, uh, stop it. <laughs> okay. Uh and then, oh shoot. He he schemed it against you. So you hit you get hit with fireball. <sighs> okay. So you take eight. <laughs> It was inevitable. We, we held out for 12 rounds. Jeez. Okay, so you're down to two. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Four, six. Hold on. I'm still getting my damage on seven. <laughs> Thank God for endurance. All right. Right where I want to be. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um. Well... Uh, I'm first player. Yes, you are. I will exhaust crew quarters to heal one. I will... um, Slowest fireballs ever. (laughs) Slowest fireball. (laughs) To play a weapons master. Um, Draw two cards. Okay. Um... I will flip up to hero form. Can you, can I call on, oh, you're. (laughs) I'm confused and stunned. I have all sorts of Gamora problems over here. (laughs) Oh man. Okay. 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 Um, Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to play... Oh, my goodness. We're going to lose this game. No, we're not. There's no way. We, we're not going to lose the game. You, As long as you can either take off the tough or take off the other thing, I think we're fine. I'll be honest. If you can just get tough off. Like, if I can just attack, we'll be fine? I think so. I'm, okay. I'm looking at my cards. I think so. I'm going to play one way or another just to... Put another reactor overload in there. Um, coming in with seven. I mean, yeah, why wouldn't you? Did your cat oh, come back? Is your cat going to mess up this board, Steve? No, he's... Oh. I only have one card in my deck. <laughs> I, well, I guess it's fine. Be a good one. It, it Nick is Fury. Nice. Gandalf. Um, Sneak attack Gandalf. I Actually, I do have Retaliate 2, so we'll be fine. Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, well, I feel less bad. Okay, I will knock the top off. Perfect. All right. Um, GG. Cool. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just get all of these cards out. Why not? There you go. Just in case I can't count and I die. Just, you know. You know. <laughs> oh, no. Don't say that. I mean, weirder things ever. Ebony's mall last resort. Uh, my cat. <laughs> Can you hear him? Uh, now and again, yeah. It's like random. <laughs> yeah, I like I can see like the door, and I just see his like little paw like stuck under it, like <laughs> trying to like swipe at me. Sneak attack. <laughs> usually, usually he's like fine because, but my wife is traveling this week, and so he doesn't have anyone to hang out with right now, and so he gets lonely. Yeah. So, okay, do it. Kill it, Jason. All right. First, we're going to do the most important thing you can do. You're going to attack so we can take the stun off because that's freaking annoying. Then that leads us to doing acrobatic move and deal two damage to an enemy, which takes off that thing, right? Yeah. All right. That thing's gone. It also allows me to do one thwart, so that's fun. Um, You can pick where. I don't care. Wherever you feel like it's good. Not that reactor overload, the other reactor overload. Okay. And then 
we can exhaust Keen Instinct's throwaway mass attack to play Momentum Shift. Cool. Deal two damage, do two damage. He is down to zero. We can, then for fun, throw away Welcome oh. Aboard, play Martin X. He's out there. He can do one whole more damage just in case. We were oh, my goodness. Two. Oh, my goodness. Dude, that was insane. That shouldn't have that been that was... <laughs> That got crazy, but I I had a lot of fun with that. Like both streams this week, we're like good. were were a lot of fun. And so yeah. oh yes, cool. Okay. Thank you so much, Josh. This actually would not have definitely would not have been a win if you were not here. So we really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> you you it's fascinating though. Like I felt like when I first played this on normal, Ebony Mall was almost a pushover. And on right. expert, he's like legit like he's yeah legit. yeah i oh. that was that was i don't know that was just a lot of fun that was just a lot of fun so that was good yeah that was really good and oh you, man you know it's funny too because i was thinking about this like you know when you play you like two hand or whatever like the whole call on action thing still throws me off it really like, does yeah like the idea like the idea of like okay it's my turn but i can make it your turn for a second and you can do what hero actions right that's it so any any action you could do any action, which is like, it still throws me off. Like what are actions? What aren't actions? Like, ugh, confuses me. So, so it, it's, I think it's anything that says hero action or like alter ego action. Um, but like, you can't like basic attack or use a basic power and you can't use like a resource. So like okay. this nebula ship says like resource exhaust nebula ship generate a resource. Um, yeah. Huh. Expert wasn't a joke. It was, it, it was crazy. Um, I'm glad we did it. I I, I yeah. am really glad that we did that spread though. Um, it, it was a good challenge. It's so much more satisfying with the win. So agreed, agreed. That was really good. Mm. Well, Oof. okay. So you're not streaming tomorrow, right? You're you're out. I'm out. Yeah, I got to travel. Okay. okay. So I will be back on Friday. We're gonna hit Arkham Horror again. So we're gonna play. I've played the scenario before, but it was a long time ago, and I don't remember. So we're back into the not really sure what's happening in Arkham, which I, that's the way that I want to play Arkham it is not necessarily knowing what the scenario is, right? Like with Lord of the Rings and Marvel, it's kind of like you build around the scenario mm. where Arkham, I feel like I'm experiencing the scenario. And so that's, that's kind of what um, I, I'm really excited for that. Josh says that you can use resources. Yeah. Let me clarify. So I meant like you can use resources to like, pay for cards but like i can't exhaust nebula ship to give you a resource right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay right. sorry that that was that was said confusingly so i apologize that's fine um, um the yep so i'll be on friday and then you second scenario is that what you're doing yes second scenario oh, so I, I good burnt, too good i burned down the house and we'll see we'll see where that goes you so. just the, actually the second scenario you just rebuild your house you're oh, like, oh, okay. no, it's gone. Yeah, yeah, that'll be fun. That's why I like it so much. It's all woodwork. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Hope you know your different planes. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I love that. All right, so we'll be back, and then I will be back next Monday starting the first um, scenario in the Casa Doom big box for oh, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, so I'm pumped for that. That's a good one. Excited for that. I hope everybody has a wonderful uh, back half of the week. Thank yeah. you all for joining. Uh, like and subscribe. Go subscribe to Jason, our D20s yeah. woodworking um, as well. And join our Discord. So I think that's all the housekeeping that we had to do. So yes. without further ado, have a great night, everybody. Take care. See you.